Hello, Summit Church family. Hey, it's Pastor Terry here, and I wanted to just take a few minutes and touch base with you, encourage you a little bit. I know a lot of you are under a, a stay-at-home order, and you're not able to get out and do the things you'd like to do, so just wanted to touch base with you, take a few minutes, encourage you in the Word of God. Hey, uh, you know, before this coronavirus thing came up in the news, uh, well before it came up in the news, the Holy Spirit said to us that there was going to be a giant arising in the land, and and we see that now. And, uh, you know, I was thinking about, you know, how David, King David, killed the giant of his day. And so uh, uh, there, there's 10 things here that, uh, that David did to kill the giant. And, and I just think they'd be an encouragement for you to hear. So uh, you remember the story of, of uh, David and Goliath. And uh, as we look at that story, what we see is first and foremost... Uh, when that giant arose on the land and, you know, David, he uh, had brought some, some food out to his brothers who were a part of the army and, and uh, David wasn't even a, a part of the army at that time, you know, and uh, he just brought some food out to his brothers and, uh, and, and, and when he got out there, there was the giant and all of that. But the first thing is, and 10 things here that David did to kill the giant, the first thing is don't ignore the giant. You know, uh, David didn't ignore the giant. Listen, faith does not ignore a problem. Faith acknowledges that the problem is there, but then faith does something about the problem. So first thing, don't ignore the giant, okay? Don't ignore the giant. We, we must not ignore that this coronavirus is in the land, okay? But then the second thing that David did to kill, to kill Goliath, is you don't react to the giant based on fear but rather on faith. Now, you know as well as I do, if you watch the news at all, there is fear all over the place in this land right now. And it, it's, 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 you can sense it in the atmosphere. I know when I do my running, my jogging in the evenings, in this area where I jog, you can, you can, you can just sense this. It's like a, it's a spirit of fear is what it is. And remember, the Bible says God hasn't given us a spirit of fear. So, you know, David did not ignore the giant. We don't want to ignore the giant. But then we don't want to react to the giant based on fear. You know, fear is a terrible, terrible thing. The Bible says that fear has torment. And, uh, uh, you know, fear can actually, in many cases, do more harm to people than the actual problem itself. So we just need to, uh, uh, than the actual giant itself. So let's don't ignore the giant. But let's don't react to the giant based on fear. It's not wrong to feel fear, but we don't want to react based on fear, but rather based on faith. Uh, and then the third thing is, is don't magnify the giant. You know, when David got out there and he brought the food out to his brothers, uh, everybody was magnifying the giant. They said to David, have you seen this, this giant, how big and bad he is? See, they were magnifying the giant, and, and in many ways, make when, when you magnify something, you make it you make it much bigger than it really is, and and we must not magnify this coronavirus. Now we don't ignore that it's there. We're going to use faith to deal with it, but we shouldn't magnify it. When you magnify something, it just the, the fear just just gets worse. See, we we don't. But what we need to do is 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 view this coronavirus. In light of the word of God. And, and when you view a, a, you see, if you just look at, at a giant based, view it, you look at a giant based on yourself, yeah, the giant looks big. But if you look at the giant based on God, then all of a sudden the giant doesn't look so big anymore. So, so, so don't magnify the giant, but rather, rather compare the giant not to yourself, but compare the giant to God. And then the giant doesn't look so big anymore. And then the fourth thing David did is he knew his enemy and he knew his covenant. What do you mean he knew his enemy? Well, he knew that his enemy didn't have a covenant with God. He called him an uncircumcised Philistine. When he used that word uncircumcised, see, that's covenant talk. David knew that Goliath didn't have a covenant with Almighty God. But you see, David did have a covenant with Almighty God, and, uh, and, and, so, and David knew that covenant. So, so you see, we must realize that this, this coronavirus does not have a covenant with God. Therefore, it's going to fall just like 
the giant fell. Okay, so remember that. Know your, know your enemy and know your covenant. And then the fifth thing that's interesting with David is he used his, and by the way, on covenant, I've been teaching you on covenant. For, well, the Holy Spirit led me to, to starting the first of 2020, teach on covenant every Sunday. And we've done that all the way down to the, to the, present, to the present time. And so all of those messages that I taught on covenant, they're on our website at Summit Church. Dot us under pastors messages and you can go there and get caught up on, on on what you need to know about God's covenant so you need to know your enemy but you also need to know your covenant and stand on it okay and then the, the fifth thing that David did is he used his faith on the smaller problems before the giant showed up you remember he, he said he had killed the lion and killed the bear well David was using, see, he didn't kill the lion or kill the bear under his own power, but he killed the lion, he killed the bear on the same covenant that he used to kill the giant. But you see, he practiced his covenant on those smaller problems so that when the giant showed up, he was, he, he'd stand on that same covenant to kill the giant, see? And so here at Summit Church, we've stood on the covenant to deal with smaller problems of, of life. And now that, hey, this giant has, has shown up, now we stand on that covenant and the, this coronavirus thing will fall just like all those other smaller things have fallen for us over the many years. Now, if, you, if you're behind here a little bit, you haven't been using your covenant on the smaller problems, hey, got good news for you. Go to summitchurch.us, pastor's messages, and uh, you can get caught up on, on the things you need to know about the covenant to stand on the covenant to kill the giant, okay? And, then, and so anyway, so David didn't ignore the giant. He didn't react to the giant based on fear. He didn't magnify the giant. He knew his enemy and he knew his covenant. He had used his faith on the smaller problems before the giant showed up. And then the sixth thing we notice about, about David is he, you can't kill the giant based on somebody else's revelation. You see, Saul, King Saul, wanted to put his armor on David. And David said, no, I haven't tested, I haven't tested that armor. I, 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 I can't, if I put that on, I'm not going to be successful against killing the giant. See, you, you see, you can't kill the giant based on somebody else's revelation of the word of God. You have to get a revelation of God and his word and his covenant for yourself. You can't, you can't kill a giant based on somebody else's revelation. You have to get your own revelation of the word of God, okay? And, uh, and you can do that. Go to summitchurch.us, go to pastor's messages, and find out what you need to know about the covenant of God, and then, and then stand on it and get your own revelation of the covenant, okay? And then the seventh thing David did is he used the name of the Lord on the giant. And you know what? We've got that same name. We've got that name of Jesus that's above every name. And uh, that in the name of Jesus, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord. And listen, coronavirus is a name. The name of Jesus is above it. So use the name of Jesus on the coronavirus. And I tell you what, the coronavirus is afraid of the name of Jesus. Okay? And so use the name of Jesus. And then the eighth thing David did, he told the giant what he was going to do to him. See, the giant was out there using all this, this foul language and, and defying the armies of the living God. And he was telling David what he was going to do to David. But rather, David turned the tables on him and he told the giant what he was going to do to the giant. And we need to do the same thing. In fact, here at Summit Church, we did that many weeks ago. We, we spoke to the coronavirus. And in the name of Jesus, we commanded that if it gets within 10 feet of any, any of us, it has to die. See, that's using our faith. That's believing God. That's standing on the word of God. Believing something in our heart. Confessing it out, out of our mouth, you see. And we've done that. And, and, and so, so we've told the giant what we were going to do to it in the name of Jesus, you see? And then the ninth thing is put action to your faith. See, listen to this very important point here. David didn't just use the name of the Lord on the giant, 
But he also did something. He put action to his faith. You know, faith without corresponding action is dead. What did he do? He had a slingshot and those five stones. And he used the slingshot on the giant. And, and, and what, what, what do we learn out of this? Yes, we use our faith. Yes, we believe God. We do the spiritual things we need to do. But then David also used the slingshot. We must do the natural things we need to do also, like comply with the, the reasonable requests of our authorities to, to, you know, stay within six feet of somebody. Well, you said, Pastor Terry, that the, the coronavirus would die within 10 feet. Absolutely, I believe that. But in conjunction with that, we also follow natural rules and laws. And we, we abide by what our authorities have asked us to do as long as they don't violate the word of God. And, and we, you know, I've been washing my, I always wash my hands a lot, but I've been washing them more lately. I, I don't use as much of hand sanitizer usually, but I've been using a lot more of it recently. So what am I doing? I'm believing God. I'm standing in faith, using the name of the Lord on the giant, but I'm also doing the natural things that need to be done. And one good minister said it this way, the natural and the supernatural coming together will make an explosive force for God. And so let's do the spiritual things. Let's also do the natural things and the giant will fall, okay? And then the final thing is, it's interesting that when David swung that stone at the giant, it, I, I believe that stone was empowered by the word of God empowered by the covenant of God. You just think about it. Just that stone alone hitting that giant. Uh, I believe there had to be some supernatural energy in that stone when it hit that giant. I believe God sped that stone up and, and, and that stone hit that giant and the covenant of God was behind that stone. The name of the Lord Jesus was behind that stone and it hit that covenant. Uh, it hit that giant and knocked him, knocked him flat. But apparently he wasn't dead dead right there. How do I know that? Because David took his sword, the giant's sword, took that sword and cut the giant's head off. Well, of course, we see in the Word of God that the, the Bible, the Word of God, is refer, referred to as the sword of the Spirit. So what do we learn by this? Well, we, we do all these things that, that, that we talked about, these nine things that we talked about, and you, you knock the giant, knock the coronavirus right down on the ground, but then you take the word of God and complete the kill. What do I mean by that? Stay in the word of God. Stay in the word of God. Read the word of God daily. Meditate on it. Go to our website. Listen to the sermons on covenant and other sermons I've preached. You know, uh, stay hooked up with us every week here as, as we go out on, on YouTube, Facebook, and these other, these other things that we go out on. Stay hooked up and stay in the word of God. And, and, and you can complete the kill on this coronavirus. So let me review and close here. First thing, don't ignore the giant. Second thing, don't react to the giant based on fear. Third thing, don't magnify the giant. Fourth thing, know your enemy and know your covenant. Fifth thing, use your faith on the smaller problems before the giant shows up. Sixth thing, you can't kill the giant based on someone else's revelation of the word of God. Seventh thing, use the name of Jesus on the giant. Eighth thing, tell the giant what you're going to do to him. Ninth thing, put action to your faith. And the final thing, complete the kill of the giant by staying in the word of God. Okay, so do those 10 things and do them in faith. And this coronavirus will fall in the name of Jesus. So, hey, I hope that encouraged you. And it's been an honor to be able to, to, to share these things with you. And, hey, I'm trying to stay in touch with you. And I'm asking you, hey, stay in touch with me. Send me an email. Send me a Facebook message. You know, let, let me know that, 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 that you're listening to these things. Let me know if they've been a help to you. So I'm going to be looking forward to hearing from you. Until we... Uh, meet you again here real soon. God bless you and have a great day.